Welcome back to CM Blind. If you're new here, my friends, my name is Cindy. I love sharing tips, tricks, hacks, and discussion videos for anyone who is impacted by low vision, blindness, or any other disability or chronic illness. A lot of these videos can apply to anyone, and whether that's you that's diagnosed or someone you know. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe, of course, for more content like this one. I've got two hacks to share with you guys today that have been my latest faves, and I'd love to hear in the comments section, what has been your favorite tip, trick, or hack that I've posted over the past couple of years? And if one of today's might even be your new favorite, I'd love to hear. So here we go, y'all. Let's do it. Number one, this tip is for any kind of jewelry, such as bracelets and necklaces, but as well as for any kind of technology cables or headphone cables, anything that really gets tangled up with itself or other things. This is a straw. It's a little bit wider diameter than your typical drinking straw, and I got a variety pack of different colors as well to help with just kind of different organization by colors in my jewelry drawer. What I do is I just feed the necklace. This is what I have in my hand right now. I just have this necklace chain through the straw and this helps to keep it from tangling not just with itself but all the other necklaces and bracelets that I have in my jewelry drawer. And the charm is hanging out here on the end to help me identify but I can also color code them as well based on the colors of the straws. Honestly guys just explore your Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, any kind of store like that that has a party supply section or crafting section and you can usually find all kinds of really creative little tubes and things like this they don't have to be plastic they can be cardboard paper but anything that you think that would work just explore my friends this little hack right here has made traveling also so much easier number two make sure you're following me y'all over on TikTok and Instagram because I've actually posted a few videos on this one already but I wanted to share it with y'all just kind of all under one little umbrella hack tip uh, here on my YouTube because I think this is a great tip for any of my fellow parents out there or pet owners. So I have behind me a Tide Pod container, so it's kind of the hard shell plastic, and I have a prescription bottle, which I've already peeled the label off of and everything. But these are great because they have a quite a nifty design to them in that, for example, this prescription bottle, I can keep it on the child safety lock side. Whatever's inside, little fingers cannot get inside this thing. So like screws or any kind of needlework, storing cables inside, or it's anything small that could be chokeable or that pets might be getting into or little hands might be getting into. This is a great way that you can start organizing little things around the house that could be a hazard to the ones we love. And it's just another little organization Thing that instead of tossing or recycling these, reuse them. And did you know many of your prescription bottle caps, by the way, if it doesn't already come with them, you can request the dual sided cap where one side is an easy twist on twist off and the other side is the child safety lock. The same thing goes with the Tide Pod containers as well. These are a hard shell and I think could make an excellent organization system if you're a bit on the crafty side, which even as a blind mom, I love to do little crafts like this. We'll take contact paper, wrap it around them, and I'll encourage them to color them, design them, or we'll label them. And with the top off, it's just an easy way for little hands to get in there and take uh, whatever little toys out. Sometimes we keep our Legos in these, but if the lids are on, you know that, hey, this is a great way to store away things that you want to keep pets and kids out of. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, my friends. It always helps push the video in the algorithm so that more people can discover our little channel here. So thank you for your time. Hopefully these tips helped you today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell too. If you haven't already, that's gonna give you a notification when we do our live community chats here on the channel. And that's it, my friends. I'll catch you in the next video. Blessings to you and yours.